Okay, so today I want to talk about monsoons. And most people have heard of monsoons and they know that monsoons mean a rainy season. Okay? For our purposes, we need to know that monsoons are caused by wind and they could mean a rainy season or they could in fact mean a dry season. Okay, here we obviously have a rainy season. This is in India in the summer. Okay, and somehow this wind is causing a very wet summer for India. And we want to figure out why that is. And it happens pretty much every summer in India. Okay, here you go. This is Mangalore, India, and this is a climograph. So if you've been paying attention in class, uh, you know what a climograph is. You know that it has to do with temperature and precipitation. Okay, so precipitation, temperature, and you can see in the summer that Mangalore, India had about a thousand milliliters, milliliters, excuse me, millimeters of rain. And that's roughly 15, 20 inches, 15 to 20 inches. Uh, my conversion isn't exact. I'm not sure if that's uh, exact, but I think it's probably around 15 to 20 inches. So correct me on that if I'm wrong. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. And this is, if you've been paying attention in class again, a special purpose map. Okay? So it's not a political map, it's not a physical map, it's a special purpose map. Its only purpose is to tell us about the Indian monsoon onset. Okay? And it does that, it tells us about both the winter monsoon and the summer monsoon. So there are in fact two monsoons. Alright, let me go ahead and outline, it, outline India so we can see it a little better. I don't know if everybody understands this map. The blue area is India. Okay, so just so we know that. Um, and what happens in a monsoon is an area of high pressure in the summer is over the ocean. Okay, the ocean in the summer is pretty warm. Okay, but the land, the land in India is going to heat up even more quickly, right? Because the ocean, we've talked about how the ocean doesn't lose temperature or gain temperature very quickly. It's pretty stable. The land, the land on the other hand, can heat up very quickly and when it does when it gets a lot of sunlight in the summer the land heats up very quickly in an area of low pressure forms okay guys and if you know anything about pressure you know that when there's an area of high pressure and an area of low pressure the high pressure area is going to rush to fill the low pressure area okay just like when you pop a tire uh, the, the air rushes out of that tire and it goes to the low pressure area just the air surrounding that the same thing is happening in India in the summer. The low pressure area in the land is forming because it heats up much more quickly than the ocean. Remember the ocean is stable. The ocean is stable temperature. Okay, I'm writing that down so we don't forget. And the land, land heats up quick. Land heats quick. And that creates, oops, that was silly. Land heats up quick. And that creates the low pressure area. So high to low, it's gonna, that wind is going to carry precipitation with it. It's going to carry moisture with it. So you're going to have a ton of rain in the summer. Okay? In the winter, the opposite thing is going to happen. Okay? In the winter, you're going to have high pressure in the land. All right? and you're going to have low pressure in the ocean. So those winds, they're, they're going to reverse direction, right? Okay, and that's because the land cools off more quickly in the winter than the ocean. So that changes the, the uh, pressure situation we have, and it causes a high pressure in the land area, a low pressure in the, in the ocean, and the wind switches directions. So, let me erase this. Get my highlighter back. So let's recap here real quick. This is a summer monsoon over here. Summer monsoon. And it is caused by the Indian subcontinent heating up very quickly and creating a low pressure system. Okay, so now the wind is going to go from high to low pressure and that's going to create a bunch of precipitation in the summer months. Okay, so summer equals wet. Okay, that pressure situation is going to reverse in the winter. 
Okay, and the Indian subcontinent is going to cool off much more quickly than the ocean, causing the winds to reverse. Okay, and now you're going to have a very dry. Winter equals dry. Okay, and this is all caused by the stability of ocean temperatures, of ocean temps. Okay, because the stability of ocean temps and the fact that they don't heat and cool as quickly as land, that's what causes the pressure imbalance, that's what causes the wind, thus the precipitation in the summer, and the dryness in the winter. That is what a monsoon is.